Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is attorney Sharp Rally doing this quick video uh, while traveling on the Form 983 OPT and placement companies, that is consulting companies. Uh, it has come to our attention that there was a posting on the study in, uh, in the state's website uh, where they mentioned specifically whether uh, placement companies can actually hire um, um, uh, STEM OPT students. And what they say here is um, is basically yes they can, but ultimately is the end client the, that has to file the form 983 actually has to sign on the form 983, attesting that basically training will be provided. So this brings us to two different issues. Um, two things uh, the the company will have to do basically the end client will have to sign on it for one and number two every time you move the end client that means you're moving from one company to another through your consulting company you will have to do a new 983 this is something very uh, consistent with with what we have been thinking but the only difference is we thought that um, the consulting company could sign on it but unfortunately at this point they are requesting that 983 be signed by the end client or the client where you will be uh, working and of course you have to meet all the requirements uh, you have to be employed with the, uh, basically by the, an organization you have to be uh, you have to f uh, prepare the training plan which is the form 983 etc so let us analyze what these articles or this quick update from the uh, from the D D DHS says for number one, we are talking, and we posted that on our blog, immigrationlegalblog.com. For one, what they're saying is, uh, the good news is that, yes, basically now we know for a fact that consulting companies and placement companies can hire people, basically on the Form 9, uh, uh, on STEM 24-month OPT. However, the difference now, they want this for the Form 983, which is supposed to be uh, submitted to your DSO uh, has to be signed by the client where you will be placed. For example, let's say you're working for uh, company uh, XYZ Consulting and co XYZ Consulting is placing you at, uh, at uh, company, uh, for example, uh, Microsoft or Google. So basically at the end of the day, the 983 has to be signed by Google or Microsoft, not consulting company XYZ. This might cause some issues because many of those companies, when they see that form, their lawyers might not really be um, keen to sign on it. And so while they're giving in an opening for the students to actually get and STEM OPT based on uh, using the 24-month OPT to get uh, their extension, uh, the problem that we will be facing is that and clients will tend to be reluctant to sign on it, especially when they know the implications of it. But having said that, now we know there is a way for consulting companies to basically place their, their candidates or their STEM OPT students to a third party. But uh, the big question is, will the third party be willing to sign on the Form 983? That's something that remains to be seen. But the good news, like I said, they will be able to actually file uh, the the, uh, the STEM or PT, I mean the 24-month extension will be available for staffing agencies or temporary agencies. So wish you all best of luck. If you need help with the Form 983 or any immigration matter, please call us 510-742-5887. Anything I'm telling you today is for educational purposes only. You should not act or refrain to act solely on the information provided. You should contact an attorney if you have any question. Thank you.